What is up, YouTube? Um, today, I totally meant to like tell you like via after interview how it went. Um, but obviously, my Chick-fil-A interview went really well. Um, I know that sounds really silly to say that my Chick-fil-A interview went really well, but it did. Um, I'm actually kind of happy that it went really well. And it seems like a pretty legit thing as far as that goes. Um, Honestly, I can't really complain too much. Uh, I think it'd be a really good company to work for. And there is room for growth because um, I honestly have no idea what I want to do with my life yet. just yet. I am a healthcare major, but I mean, I'm 24 and I have no idea what direction I want to go as far as my major goes. So I'm just kind of like playing with ideas, seeing if I would like this atmosphere. I mean, I'll start at the very, very bottom, like literally like I'll be taking orders and giving people their food, which I'm totally fine with. I am not against coming in at the very, very bottom of something and working my way up to bigger and better things. Like, I feel like our generation kind of doesn't do that anymore. Like, they expect it to be handed it to them and not work their butt off for it. So, I really don't mind starting from the very, very bottom. Um, but I do have an interview tomorrow at Banker's Life, which um, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I was right about my assumptions, or I'm more, more like my boyfriend's mother was right about the assumptions, but I will be calling people. And apparently it's like a massive process. Like you gotta like train for like so many months and then after you're done training and like getting your certification or your license or whatever it is, you gotta go and um, like you can make appointments with people, but you can't set them up just that. Like you have to go with people and they have to help you set them up. So like you're job shadowing them, which is like, insane to me apparently it's very time consuming and um I mean I think you work off commission so like I don't even know if you actually get like a pay I don't know how that's gonna work I guess I'll find out tomorrow um so I may be working at Chick-fil-a in the next week or two I don't know I might be serving you some food peeps you never know but anyway um I just thought I would give you the heads up on that um I did just get down with the workout we did some back exercises today. It was a back day, and it was an awesome back day. We did, um, let's see, we did some pull-ups. And I can't do, like, pull-ups without a resistance band yet. Like, I'm not that cool. Um, but I do do them. I do wide grip, and then I do chin-ups. I'm a heck of a lot better than chin-ups. Um, but we did that. Um, we did um, seated rows. We did, I honestly don't even know half the names of the exercises that I do. I just know that I know what they work, and that's about as far as it goes. Um, I'm a terrible, terrible person when it comes to that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, as far as that goes, it was a really good back day. Now I actually have a work meeting in about 30 minutes. I'm not really looking forward to going. Um, they're kind of pointless to be totally honest and it's like jumping through hoops and I just it's not even worth the effort to be honest but you know it pays the bills so there's that and then um, as soon as that's over with I am gonna do cardio because I need to do cardio I walked Jack today for about 30 minutes but it's I consider it a leisure pace but Jack likes to pull when he walks, when I walk him. So it's kind of like not a leisure pace sometimes, especially if he sees another dog, then it's like balls to the wall bad. So um, I'm going to go back and do probably the stair step for, for about 20 minutes or so. So I'll probably do that. And then I think, I think I'm going to order me some sushi because I've been craving that. And Shogun's is the bomb.com and has like half price sushi on Tuesday, Monday and Tuesdays. So I'm going to be partaking in that. Um, so yeah, you know, just your standard everyday student life crap. I'm kind of over it, to be honest. I have a crap ton of homework due on Thursday. I have an exam to study for on Thursday. Haven't looked at a single thing so far. Jack's really excited if you couldn't hear him. There's a dog barking in the background. Um, he gets really excited because he thinks, you know, the dog wants to play or something like that. Or he's encroaching on his territory. But it's, it's whatever. He'll get over it. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's that. 
and I'm gonna end this and I will see you guys later what is up YouTube it is god it's Wednesday the 16th I'm getting there even though I don't write dates down that often but anyway um oh sorry about that I'm on my way to work I have to work basically all day today um and then but at two o'clock I have an interview interview yay make it oh, oh sorry people are looking at me really weird because I'm holding my phone on the dashboard so oh Jesus I'm so sorry this is I have to like redo this or something but people are looking at me weird when I'm driving because I'm trying to hold this and it's not it's not really working out that well and I'm on campus which makes it so much worse I don't even know if you can get in trouble for this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this because I feel like it's been a hot mess so far. But hopefully I can remember to vlog how the interview went. And if I think it's going to be good. If I think it's going to be terrible. Um, and honestly, if I should just stay where I'm at. If I should stay where I'm at. Even though I'm not the happiest at my current position. Um... It's still a job and I still know my income. So I also have to consider that. But I will figure it out. So I will, I'm gonna end this and hopefully the next clip will be <laughs> of me telling you if this is a bomb interview or if it was ridiculous and bad and I'll never do a job like that ever again. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello again, YouTube. Okay, so the interview actually it was a group interview and I've never I've never had that before, so that was pretty interesting. Um but I would be selling life insurance to people. I would literally I would, it's not door to door. You basically get prospects and prospects are like you know, customers and they um they're like sixty five and older and they need health insurance or life insurance or all of the above or anything else and I would be giving them a plan and selling them this plan and essentially trying to save them money um I mean it it's hard to determine exactly if I would be happy here um because it's insurance I mean you got to go to school for it you have to um I mean you have to learn about this crap like and I hate to say, I hate to say crap, but like you have to learn about it. You got to go to school for it. You got to get licensed for it. And it's just, it seems like a lot of work, but at the same time, it kind of seems cool because you can give, you can sell people insurance and it can make their life better and it could change their life. And I kind of, I kind of like that. I kind of like that you can save people a crap ton of money, but still make money yourself. And there's opportunity to move as well like because I want to get out of Kentucky really bad um I want to graduate when I want to go so there's also room for and Banker's Life the company that this this particular company is um it's everywhere um but the majority of it's in Nashville um I think one of them was Chattanooga and then Clarksville Tennessee um so, and I like Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee. It's a really good place. I I don't really have a problem there. Like, I've traveled frequently to Tennessee, and I think it's fantastic. Um, but they also have places in, like, Georgia and, and, I mean, Alabama, Florida. If you want Florida, if you want to, like, sweat your butt off and sell old people some insurance, I mean, it'd be something interesting. But I do think I could be happy there. It's just the whole process of it. Um... And I do realize that you work off commission. I believe you work off commission. I don't think it's one of those things like where now I work off commission, but I get a paycheck. Like I get paid minimum wage and then the commission is just not a bonus. Um, I don't think that would be the same thing for me. I think it would just be strictly commission. So you, and he said that even sometimes you don't get paid. So like depending on the plan that they pick, you may not get a paycheck for that, but you might get a crap ton of names from them and that alone can get you a substantial check. So, I mean, there's pros and cons to it. And like any job, there's pros and cons to it. Um, I, 
I kind of want to see if I get a call back because that would be pretty cool. Um, I honestly don't know if I will since it was a group interview. Um, it basically, there's like, it was me and one, two, three, four, four other people? No, five other people. Five other people. We had one guy in there, but he walked out of the interview. Walked out, never came back. Um, so as far as that goes, it's not, it's pretty, um, I mean, and there's one lady I know she'll get a call back because she knew insurance like the back of her hand. Like she knew about annuities and how much a nursing home costs per month. And I mean, she just knew it all. So she'll definitely get a call back. Like she will definitely probably end up working for that company. But it's kind of a toss up between the rest of us because I'm pretty sure the majority of us don't know the first thing about insurance. Um, I'm kind of happy to know that we won't be sitting behind a computer um, we will actually have to go out in the workforce and go to these people's homes and talk to them personally. Um, but I do have kind of a decision to make because the banker's life would be a big kid job, in my opinion, as far as big kid jobs go. Um, it would definitely be a bigger, bigger kid job. Um, but at the same time, Chick-fil-A would be pretty cool too. So I don't really know. And it's not like anybody stuck their neck out, neck out for me for either one of the jobs. They just kind of landed on my lap. So, um, I do have a decision to make. But it also depends on if I want to, like, if I even get a call back. So, we'll see. Now I'm going back to work and gonna finish my shift at five and then I'm gonna go pick up my workout partner and I'm gonna go and we're gonna do workout things and look like we know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> Actually, we really do. I might even see if she can't videotape some footage today. That'd be pretty cool. Get some footage of me actually working out. That'd be pretty awesome. I'm trying to make these videos more interesting. I'm sure it's probably boring as shit. Listen to me talk and rant about my day, but it actually kind of helps me get my thought process together. And my life, I'm not saying my life is hectic by any means, but it's not exactly the most dull lifestyle either. Um, so helping me, these vlogs kind of help me get my life together. And speaking of life together, I have an exam at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow that I really need to study. And then I just realized I actually have homework do the, see what I mean like when I do these vlogs I remember things that need done <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna end this because I'm almost to work and I'm driving and vlogging again at the same time and it's just it's really scary so um, I'm gonna end this so I can be a safe driver again um, I will hopefully get workout footage this time maybe have Rachel videotape me doing some cool maybe arm it might be an arm day I'm going to try and convince her to do shoulders today. We might do both. We might go balls to the walls nuts and do both. We might do shoulders and arms. Make sure our entire upper body hurts. Because I tell you what, my back hurts like no other. And it's like those, it's those lats. Like my lats, we worked lats like hardcore yesterday. So I am, it's hurting. But um, I will see if we can't do a video. And when we can, it'll be fantastic. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh, hello YouTube. It is dark as you know what. And I'm doing a lot of car vlogs, I know. But um, I just got done my workout. We actually got workout footage. Yay! And you'll hopefully, oh, you'll see that eventually. Um, but um, I just went to the grocery store. I went to Kroger um, because I was out of coffee. And I have an 8 a.m tomorrow and I just I need coffee like you can't not have coffee for an 8 a.m. also on that you know what I forgot to get I meant to get disposable cups and I totally forgot but anyway that's besides the point um uh so I got coffee and then I ended up getting because I haven't really um obviously had dinner yet I had a really super late lunch it was at like a I want to say like three it was like 3 30 in the afternoon until I had my lunch um, so I'm just now getting dinner and right now it's like almost eight o'clock at night here. Um, 
So, uh, I went to Kroger, kind of picked up a little something something. Um, I ended up getting a personal pizza. Um, cause pizza just sounded, well, it sounded amazing. So I went ahead and got the pizza. Um, it's a, I think it's a Kashi, like a Kashi Govine pizza. Um, the macros are actually really good. Um, I believe the carb was a little high, but then again, it's protein. Or I mean, it's a freaking pizza, so you can't really do a whole lot, but I have my, it fits my macros. It is a, I think the carbs are like 50, 50, 56, 56. Um, for carbs, I can't remember what the fat was, but the protein was like 16. Um, so that makes me really happy. Um, it's just, it looks really good. So hopefully it turns out good. And then I got, um, never saw it before. It is Izzy's sparkling water and I got blackberry pear. I wanted like watermelon something, but of course they only sold that in a four pack. And of course I'm not going to buy it if it sucks. And then you're stuck with like three of these sparkling waters that are terrible. And it was only a dollar. So I was like, hey, you know what? Why not? And then I got bug spray because we are having... This happened last year when we moved in in August. Um, we just have like an infestation of ants. And it's really disgusting. But it's also one of those things like he sprayed... Our landlord sprayed around the house last... Yeah, last summer. And obviously that it's supposed to last like... For the summer, fall, winter, and obviously spring's here. The stuff's worn, worn off. So now I went to Kroger and bought like seven, I think it was like eight dollars. And it's a little bottle of bug spray that I gotta spray around the house now. And um, I gotta spray that around the house, around the windows, um, inside the house, outside the house. So I get to do that tonight. Cause you know, I don't have enough crap to do because I've got an exam tomorrow morning that I haven't even studied for. And I kind of like this class. I kind of like to do well in this class, but you know, it's no guarantee. It's legitimately no guarantee. And I am the first one home and I forgot to plug in my lights. So my dog is sitting in the, in the room in the dark and you can't even see me anymore. So hold on. We are officially in the dark right now. Oh, hello. Okay. So yeah, I just got home and vlogging right now. Um, but let me check the macros for this. Okay. It is a mushroom and spinach traditional crust pizza. Um, I honestly don't give a crap about the fiber. Okay. The fat is nine. Fat's nine. Uh, macro or carbs are 56 and the protein is 16. Um, yeah, you just pop it in the microwave and it's just, it looks, looks really yummy. And I like mushrooms. I think they're amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to eat that and do some homework and then I will, well actually first off, I'm going to get Jack out of his cage and then probably spray around the house, around the doors, around the windows and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of it. So I'm gonna end this because it's been a really, it's kind of been a long, crazy day. So I will see you guys later. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. This right here is your basic um, tricep pull down. Uh, just super simple. I did this for 20 reps at a really lightweight. Um, and the next thing that I do is actually, um, I call it an overhead tricep pull or whatever. Um, I also did this for 20 reps. I supersetted this. Um, this little workout is actually pretty intense. Um, if you don't really feel your triceps burn, I would definitely try this one. Um, my arms kind of, you know, they just don't, they don't burn every. So often so I have to do some things to switch it up uh, this right here is I just call it a spider curl uh, just because of the way you sit on the bench for me I don't really sit my legs on the side um, I'm only five feet so I kind of have to keep them up on the uh, bench but it was something to mix up the workout because arms can get so very boring and they can get um, super just like the same repetitive motion over and over again um so hopefully i can get you guys more workout footage and you guys will like it and that'll be all thank you guys